Hey guys, it's Vicki Kinner, Independent Scentsy Consultant, Scentsy Director with Team Scented Style. And today, I am so excited because why? The wait is over. We are going to be talking fall winter catalog. We are going to be doing the first sniffs, actually the second sniffs, if you watch my product review, of the, top, the 10 new release scents in the fall winter 2022 catalog and they're pretty darn good so if you like this video please give it a like and if you enjoy my content please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when i have posted something new and comment below let me know which ones are your favorite let me know if you smell them at sfr and which one you like the best or if you already got your bars and you're excited and you want to let me know which one you like. So let me know which one you like. All right, you guys, let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about the addition to my office. This piece of furniture was actually over there and I moved it over there and then I bought that and I kind of like it. Let me know what you think, okay? I, I'm kind of liking it. All right, you guys, so we're gonna smell the 10 new release scents, which I've already smelled at SFR, but I wanna see if I still like the ones that I liked there and if the ones that I didn't like there, if I still don't like them. So let's go ahead. I'm going to recharge with my Gatorade. It's kind of like stretching, like I'm getting ready. We're going to do this, you guys. All right, so which one is the first one? Black, Currant, and Plum. I remember this one being just kind of like, okay. So let's go ahead and check this one out. I love the color. So it's this beautiful, like, maroony color, like plum color, obviously plum. <sighs> Let me smell the inside. Okay, there's some sort of woods that I'm not a fan of, and I don't believe it's a wood scent. I don't remember. No, it's not a wood scent, but this one to me is just okay. Dark plum and wild black currant emboldened sweet apple for a temptation you won't want to resist. This one to me is just okay. Like, I think we have better scents, to be honest with you. But let me know if you like that one. Okay, the next one is Blackberry Spice. And I believe I liked this one. I have not re-smelled these since I've been home. So it's been a while. So let's check it out. Yes, I like it. All right, there's some sort of woods aspect to it. And if you know me, you know I do not like woods, but some woods I'm okay with. I don't know. It's my prerogative. I can't explain myself. But I do like this one. I do like this one. Blackberry spice, ripe blackberry bundled with cedar wood and fresh clove. That's what it is. It's cedar wood. Yeah, but I like it with the blackberry. Ooh, and the clove. I do like it. I do like it. All right, the next one, Crab Apple Crumble. I remember enjoying this one because I'm a bakery girl, so I remember enjoying this one. So let's get back to it. Ooh, it's this beautiful mauve color. I love that. Oh, you guys, this one's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, I love bakery. If you love bakery, you're going to like this set. I'm just saying, not saying, just saying. I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Okay, baked crayon apple top with brown sugar and a dollop of whipped cream. It's so good. It's so bakery, and I love it. I don't really know what a crayon apple is. Is it like a specific kind of apple? You guys let me know in the comments if you know what a crayon apple is, because I don't know. The only thing I think of is the little rascals. Remember the teacher, Mrs. Crabtree? That's what makes me think of crayon apple. Like, that's it. That's the history of crayon apple for me. And Mrs. Crabtree. Okay, I digress. 
What's the next one? Falling apples. And what they did was, because Sensi's so cute with their with their um, naming, they put fall and then ing, like falling apples. So it's this beautiful maroon color. And we'll give it a sniff. It's okay to me. This one's just okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not it's not my favorite and I don't hate it. So that's where it's at. Take a stroll through an orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. It's the acorn and oak for me. It's not my thing. But I'm not an outdoorsy type of scent person. Like, I'm not a woodsy person. That that blackberry spice, I don't know why I like it, but I like it. Maybe because it's what it's mixed with. All right, the next one I knew was my favorite. Frosted Vanilla. Frosted Vanilla. This one was the bee's knees. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, that was it. And it has some sort of woods in it. I can't remember what it is, but there's some woods sprinkled in there. But that vanilla. I almost did the preach. Did you see it? I almost did the, woo. Like, that's how excited I got about this set. I really like this one. A wonderful, oh wait, a wonderland of sweet vanilla bean and birch bark with a rush of frosty air. Who knew I would love frosty air? Who knew? All right, Huckleberry Hideaway. And I do remember liking this one. But we're going to re-sniff to make sure. Huckleberry Hideaway. And it's this beautiful purple. Ooh, it matches. Matchy, matchies. All right. What is he doing? I got to check on my dog. What are you doing, Dakota? Hey. I haven't swept up in here yet after I changed things around. And he's finding all the lint. Yes, I like this one. And it has woods. But whatever it is, I like it. I don't like a ton of woods, but when I, there's, I think it's because of what it's mixed with. But I like the top of the bar better than I like the bottom of the bar. That's weird. Not really because the oils kind of seep down. But the bottom of the bar smells more woodsy than the top. Okay, so I'm getting more of the huckleberry on the top. Okay, so it says fresh picked huckleberry, mountain violet, and crisp white woods create the perfect retreat. I do like it. I do like it. Okay. Perfect. Here we go again with Scentsy. Perfect. Pear dash effect day. All right. And I remember liking this one, but I love pear scents. I used to have, when I used to burn candles before I thought I was going to burn my house down, um, I used to have this really tall pear, um, what are you doing down there? Um, candle, and it was amazing. Oh, this is good. It's very peary. It's very peary. I love pear. Yes, that's good. That's good. There's something else in there too, but I can't remember. Autumn, uh, autumn pear mixed with spice syrup and a spirited splash of bourbon. Mm. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. I don't know. I mean, it's like pear and something else. And apparently that something else is either the bourbon or the uh, spice syrup. But I, I do like that one. I do like it. All right. The next one is Sips of Cider. And I remember thinking that this one was okay, but that we have better cider scents already in the catalog. Because, okay. And this one confuses me because I'm not getting apple. And cider to me means apple. I don't know. Like, it's not like cider meal. And it's not like, it's definitely not bright cider. Oil. It's not a cider to me. I don't know what this is. This is odd. Okay, let's read it because I haven't read it yet. Okay, well, that explains it. It's not apple. It's lively blood orange steeped with sparkling ginger and cinnamon sticks. So it's ginger, cinnamon, and blood orange. Okay, so now that I re-smell it, let's re-smell it thinking that it's not apple because maybe that was my problem. Like, I, I would have to warm it. And now that I smell it, I do smell like orange. And maybe that was what was throwing me off before was because I was thinking it was supposed to smell like an apple cider and it's not an apple cider. 
We're gonna have to warm that one. I'm on the fence. We are on the fence on that one. Okay, the next one is Velvet Moon. And to be honest with you, I don't really remember what Velvet Moon smells like. So we are gonna re-smell this one. I love this. All right. Ooh, that's pretty. Ah, oh, yeah, I like that. That to me is gonna, I think I'm gonna put that in my bedroom. Ooh, that's pretty, but maybe the spice might be a little, the woods might be a little much in my bedroom. But dang, it's pretty. It's a pretty scent. All right, I don't know what it is that I'm smelling. I know I smell some sort of woods. It says, oh, soft vanilla. See, I love vanilla. I love vanilla. Soft vanilla flower and white musk glow behind a silky layer of foggy mist. What is it with me and foggy mist? Foggy air and foggy mist. Why is that my favorite all of a sudden? Who knew I was a fan of foggy something or other? Um, I remember this one not liking this one. I remember thinking it was too woodsy for me. White, amber, and silk. White, amber, and silk. But if you like woods, you may enjoy this, okay? So just because Vicky doesn't like it doesn't mean that you're not going to like it. I do like the color, but no. No. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. So that's white amber and bergamot are wrapped up in comforting cotton for a smooth finish. So Vicky votes no thank you on that one. No thank you. All right, so that's the 10 new release sets. But let's go ahead and pick. Let's, we're going to go for our top. Let's go top three. I know number one. Number one is going to be frosted vanilla. Cranapple crumble. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do my top five because I, I don't think I can do. All right. We're going to do top five. Number five is going to be Perfect Day. I love pear scents and I like this scent. Um, number, ooh, okay. Tied for fourth, for third and fourth place. I don't know which one I like better. Is Velvet Moon and Blackberry Spice. I think both of these are amazing. So these are my three and four. You choose. I don't know. Oh, this is going to be another tough one. Let's re-smell. Man, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, but that's good. Oh. Okay, so we're going to go with Cranapple Crumble is my number two. And we're going to go with Frosted Vanilla is my number one. But dang, those are good, you guys. Yay, we're getting into the fall season. And how pretty is this catalog? I hope Sensi continues to make catalogs that look like this. To me, this looks like something Pottery Barn or like some high-end place would, would have. And what I like is they hid the, um, they hid the Sensi. You got to actually like look for it. Like if you look over here, you'll see that diffuser in the window. I like that. I like that they didn't put it so like blatant. It's like, Okay, we do, we sell decor, okay? This is just part of the beautiful home that we're looking at. And then over here, you see, oh, what was that one called? What was that warmer called? Ooh, what is it called? I love that warmer. I think that's my favorite one. Golden Sunset. Okay, see a Golden Sunset warmer and you see the um, fragrance flower. You see that? I just like how they did that. And then if you look over here, you see Valley the sheep. How cute is that? And who doesn't love that dog? That dog is like smiling in the picture. I just love everything about this. I love the wreath on the door and the pumpkins. Good job, Sensi. This is my favorite catalog cover since I've been in 2016. That's my favorite. All right, you guys, I hope you liked the video. 
Let me know what you think and let me know if you like, see how it's kind of angled. And then this is here. I kind of like this. I kind of like that. Anywho, you guys, let me know what you think. Let me know which one's your favorite. Comments below. And uh, just FYI, I still have two uh, no out of pocket expense uh, Scentsy join kits available. And I give them away. I, you guys, I gift them. You guys enjoy them. And if you want to learn how to do this, I'm here for you. If you just want to put in your orders, I'm here to teach you how to maximize your uh, hostess credits so you can get the most out of, your, out of the money that you're already spending. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great week, and I will talk to you later. Bye.